from Paul's Toolbox and Travis from Artists and Design Concepts, and they're going to help me create a realistic, free, born geo. Earlier, they cut out a shape for me. I don't know what it is made of. MDF, three quarter inch. It's a round sound MDF. And so now to create the rock edge, these guys are experts in creating realistic rock edges Ooh, for their countertops and et cetera. And we're using Bondo. So now they're gonna do that for this geo. All right, so for this run, I'm gonna mix a nice hefty amount out of here, okay? I'm just gonna tilt it over. I'm just gonna start scooping. Maybe one more and that should be able to. So Bondo's a two-part situation? Two parts. Yes, two-part. It's very much like resin, but it, it, it comes with uh, the putty and that's got the... Uh... And you, you always want the different color putty. I don't like gray putty because it's, it's hard to tell when you have the right amount of mm -hmm. mixture. I like the, usually mm -hmm. the pink uh, or red. We got blue here. You want some, you want some, some blue, blue, baby? So that changes the color of the... It's just a and color it, indicator that lets you know that it's thoroughly mixed. When you got, yeah, and you have the right amount. If you want, if you want it to dry fast, you put more hardener in it, the, the blue in the this case. Yes, and if you want it to, you want to have more time. Like if you're out in the sun, you want to have uh, less. You want it more gray. If you are uh, indoors and it's a cooler day, you want more of the hardener, more blue. But how blue do you want it? Like how this, you just enough part? to see a good yeah, view. you can see it throughout the putty. I would mess yeah. this up so cool. Now it'll get, I mean, if you want it to, to dry fast, you'll put more, it'll get darker. I'm just gonna start slapping it on. Cause it, yep. you it, really have a short set This is not gonna give us a time. lot of time. And if it's you're in the hotter temperatures time. where yep. it's over hundred degrees, you basically lost a minute and a half of working time on this. I'll follow stuff. him along. Oh, teamwork. And we're gonna we're gonna slide it over the top a little bit because of the geode has the has the lip on on the top a little bit, and we'll get that in a minute. Gotcha. As soon as we get past all of this. And this stuff and gets hot. And he's running. He's it, running. It, not. Can, it can get warm if it's it in can. the hotter temperature. Yeah. There is a similar thermogenic reaction, such as you would get with. Uh, a two-part resin. A resin, yeah. So back to it's the future. It's not going to get as hot as a resin, but it'll start to get really set up and tacky. Mm -hmm. so it'll it get warm, yeah, like you'll feel it. It'll start to kind of rubberize. Rubber. Yeah. And then it'll go then into it's hard to work with. That's right. it. And it's, you got to mix a new batch. All right. Now we'll start. Only mix as much All right. A little bit on the top. You want to kind of like little highs and lows. Some spots will be a little Inside bit further. Yeah. Some spots will be less. So we're just kind of spreading it out, slapping it, getting some texture on that. Slapping the base. <laughs> now as it starts to kind of set up a little bit, then we'll the, 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 the texturing will really kind of hold the form that you're giving it. You want this to look natural, so we're just swiping it on. And we'll, we're gonna come back over and sand some spots, of course. And you'll still kind of knock some burrs down, doing, but we still yeah. want to give her some highs and lows. Yeah, and you want highs and lows. Swipe it on and then tap it. Swipe and tap it. Wipe on what? Wipe it on. Wipe it on. Oh, that's going to make a great part of the fall. Oh, I've caught some good ones. We're going to have a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Just to ride over. Come here, come here. Looking at the photo, we're we're going by the photo she had of what she was doing or, or looking to do. So we have a little more on here and we're gonna come knock it down a little bit, but it's gonna give hopefully that, that texture across the top. Usually we just do the side. Do you have to but have this in a certain thickness pretty good. of layer? Can you do it thicker or thinner? Or what would you happen? can do multiple yeah, applications. Dry. If you I want a more good. textured look, you can do several applications. Yep. I didn't know if I like took this blob and put it on there, would it, it set would get harder. Yes, it, it will, it will, it will set. Hard. But then you'll have to sand a big blob off, which we don't want to have to do. No sanding We'll knock blob. it down just a little bit. But we don't want to have a big blob. Should one wear a respirator or workout? No, 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 not yet. Well ventilated, well ventilated for this. It's not going to get any dust in you. If you are indoors, a respirator would be an excellent idea. Yeah, if you're indoors without, we have proper ventilation here. So, not very good. Nope. For countertops, he always does two coats. Only because uh, I, on a countertop, I'll do two applications only because the way I like it. 
is I'll have that first layer out and I'll let it set up and then as it starts to kind of rubberize a little bit, I'll kind of slide my hand over so it'll start kind of pulling that up. Okay. It'll it's look very textured like a real stone. And then I'll go over with the second application and all I'll be doing on that one is just slapping it, got some spikes out of it. Now if you bring around, you can kind of see the texture. Yep. It's starting to rubberize pretty good. Can you check that side, Jeff? You can see the texture. Oh, yeah. So that'll give it some extra textured look on the, on the dead spaces. So I shouldn't worry about this. Dead. No, we're going to knock this sand out. That'll come right off. Actually, if you catch it in a couple of minutes when it rubberizes, you can just scrape that off. Yeah. You can cut this. I'll work it. Yeah, and I'll cut it. Some, now, you're not going to cut this because we want a texture. For sure. But if, you, if you're not, you can cut it with a, uh, a drywall. That stuff's ruined like it's done. Yeah, it's already you rubberized. Even you can now, see it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, time, it's like you're racing the clock, diffusing a bomb. Like I did mix right. it a little bit. I mixed like it, it wasn't a little bit even, hard. It wasn't even six pass. minutes. Like it was. It was not even six minutes. Maybe five. Yeah. You got like I a five. I mix it a little bit harder because I, I don't want five minute working time. Like with yeah. the heat, you lose about a minute to two minutes of working. Yeah. Need yeah. more working time? Don't put as much on it. Yeah. That's the blue stuff. So you only yeah. need well, to I'll be doing that for the same. A lot of times, but you need it in there because that it stuff will stay. You, you get a I just didn't know since you were talking about you like the red. Yeah, I use the red all the time, but this is a this is a high bond. It's a it's a really good uh, bondo. So they have the it, it just has a different color. I use a lot of regular automotive body. So Bondo have, body filler? We, I'm sorry, Paul. No, 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 no. So we generally let it set up for maybe 25 minutes to come to full hardness before you can start working it. Uh, with this piece, since it's kind of thin on the edges, I might consider in a couple minutes when I know it's hard but not fully cured, I, I might go ahead and go with the second not, application. It gets more texture out of it. Normally when we're working a countertop or a table or something that we're doing a rock edge, we're using a sanding grinding wheel. Uh, to put some kind of divots in there to give it something to create a mechanical bond. So this first application will actually create an excellent mechanical bond whenever we go to put the second texture on. So it will really give it some some volume on the edges. How long should you wait between applications? We're gonna wait about as 20 minutes. Hard, as soon as it's really to where like if you touch it, it's not gonna flake off. Okay, because you can kind of feel the pliability of it. Yeah. Even you know 15 I mean? minutes. Like maybe even 10, 10 minutes, it might be hard enough to do another application. And we can take and start cleaning yeah. this off while it's in a minute. Yeah, right now. Still you take your start. spreader and it'll kind of take the hand off. Yeah. Because you can cut it now. I know you we want some texture yeah, on the a little bit there, so yeah. we're going to leave it a little bit. Babe. Yep. Babe. So I'm just taking the same well, if you don't, If you want more, we can put more on the second coat, but we're just scraping, he's just scraping it off some. Before it comes to the hardness, it'll give you some little textures here. Clean it before it gets hard. Yeah. That's when you can start cutting it and shaping it if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Cut. The first one, I was like, it's not. Yeah. But then you're so over here on me. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can hit that bottom. Well, we'll wait. I don't want to chip it Let's off. Let's wait five, ten minutes. I don't want to chip it off the bottom. Yeah. That's what we'll get that bit. Uh, yeah. Chip it off the bottom. Uh, no, I don't want to chip it, it off the bottom yet because I don't want to knock hard it off. And also not I'm just a fan over there. Yeah. Well, we texture here. Yeah. Check out some texture. Texture. Yeah. Round two. Yeah. Texture. Round two. Texture. All right, so we're back. It's been about 20 minutes. This stuff is set up pretty good. Three beers later. Very textured. So the second application uh, is really textured. So there's not any reason to, to sand it or anything like that because the texture itself will provide an excellent mechanical bond. Gotcha. So wrong hand. It should be left and right. It's okay. You can wear it on. Oh shit! This is a ton. <laughs> we're gonna have to use every bit of it. Oh lord. <laughs> oh fuck. Womp. Oh, you gotta bleep I'll that. I'll edit out. it. <laughs> It'll be alright. Paul, can you get his gloves on? That's why it's so natural. Oh, all the tool bags. So because I'm swearing. Tool time, Paul. Ow, 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 ow. Right? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we got a lot there, baby. We're gonna bondo up this whole place. That's probably a good one. bit. We're ready to rock. Same. Literal. Thinking back channel, we're gonna do the same thing. You're just kneading it in if you don't want to mix it up with a stick. 
Make sure you thoroughly mix it. You don't have streaks. Like that. You don't want no streaks. No highlights. Got it. No highlights. So there's different kinds of bondo, like this one says high that's, bond. That's a high bond, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a, well, supposed to bond a little stronger. I've used regular bondo. It is a little harder than other bondos whenever it cures. Yeah, so yeah. A, a it gives you, a, a well, more. it depends how much you put in it, huh, harder? Yeah, but even with the, if All right. you put the oh, same with the regular bondo, it seems like it. It gives you longer working time? I've never used this, this bondo, I've used, so it's almost I've a used the gold, but I've never part. used it. Yeah. So we'll build it up a little on the edges. Yeah. I'll come back over. You go ahead and hit that. We'll come back over the tops. Get your sides, and then we'll roll the top after. Give us some organic features here. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that you can kind of dictate how much rock face. Everything that <laughs> You get by how much? How, how did they go, Paul? Yeah. Rock face! Ah! <laughs> I think Paul's fired up. Just a bit. Could be. Rock face. All right, Paul. No more candy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so this part I'm gonna leave a little low because we're just gonna yeah, flush that out. Yeah. A couple spots will go real. I'm good. So this is Bondo's usually right. a team sport. And I'll just get them mm -hmm. Yep. Once he's done with that, we will start texturing a little bit and rolling the top. I think sure. that's good. Yep. Right. So we'll just take this. You can continue to slap it. We can always heat. We want to roll, roll it, it up. That'll kind of create that's that little good. groove. Could work on both. So since it sets up pretty quickly, you could just work it until... Until you like it. Yeah, you could easily just, you could sand it all off if you don't like it. Start over. You can easily leave this finish like it is and would be a great surface, says oh. Rita. That's a little so sharp that, though. You can like it is. A little bit sharp. Yeah, we'll burn. But we won't. But we won't. <laughs> but what? Right. But, but we won't. But oh, we, we Rhonda we today. Right. But we won't. We're gonna mention that you won't go or not. We're Rhonda, but we're not today. We're less than more Rhonda. Like this. Like this. Like this. Finally catching on, huh? Come on, Rhonda. All these little coves and stuff, it's not going to be like this whenever we're done because when we knock it down with some 120, it comes down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little more user friendly that way. It's not going to. So these little um, yeah, we're, not, we're, gonna, yeah, uh, we're gonna knock. Uh, we're off. just gonna kind of keep pushing it until all these. You yeah. can leave that. That's and a good. Sand it, we're gonna uh, knock that off. Meringue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meringue. I like that. You're going from soft peaks to hard peaks. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's already. So now it's starting it's to set up. You can kind of see that okay. real spiky texturing. See the texturing that gives you more authentic rock edge. Gotcha. Probably a little more consistent with the geode look that you're looking for the, right. the outside. Mm -hmm. yep. So we'll let, I think that's good. pretty good. Yep. We'll let that set up. And then we'll come back and knock it down. I love it. This Can stuff me. is great. Now don't, don't mind not any like spikiness over here. That'll, that's all going to get knocked down. You don't have to, I trust your process and your judgment. Right, it's great about them is I showed them a picture and they were like, Let's do this. We got this. We got, that. We got this. See, it's already. I don't want to knock that because I don't want to chip it. 
I'm saying that, you feather down. See, once it gets hard, there's no, uh, there's no just trimming it up. So you want to get this thing when it's still pliable. That's when you can cut it. And uh, Travis cleaned it off on the front side while it was still pliable, a little bit malleable. So we're good. So uh, what grid of sandpaper is? 120. 120. If you really want to do some serious knocking down, uh, if you use anything higher than that, it, you're going to burn through your pads and it's going to get all gummed up. And I use the Diablo net because you use the paper sand paper on the on the bondo with the textured edges. It'll tear up pretty good. So we're just gonna kind of make it a little flush on the bottom. That way it's able to hang without the high point. Not alcoholic. I'm safe. Panicking zero, baby. We're kind of guessing, so we're just going to try some fish here. Ready? Well, you just fan it a little bit, and I'll come back behind you. And I'll hit your highlights. Even the color of the Bondo gives yeah. it some kind of yeah, awesome good. effects. Yes. That kind of yeah. looks pretty good. I like legit, that. Huh? Right? Like that. It looks ultra legit. They're yeah. so just dusting on different colors. Yeah. We may not even need a bag. Just like, no, we ain't gonna need to go. I like the way it rides over the that looks, section. That looks real. What's this? The clear chestnut yeah. brown? Oh, that's the chestnut, and then I have the matte. Hey, I'll tell you what, you ain't gonna need much. What you got there? You can put on the lighter oh, okay. and then bag it. Okay. You can see the texture underneath it. So that antiques it, basically. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's going to pull the light color up and leave the dark color in those recesses, right? Right. In the, okay. in the, in the, and in the, yeah, that looks good. Oh, we need to hit the other side. Yeah, fan. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think we should get a little, say, darker over that. You got some darker walnut? Yep. Yeah, just kind of. Other side, so you. Yeah, I saw the blue one on the other side. I want to free dimension a little bit. Over here on your hand. That was kind of good in the back of my hand, brother. Yeah. And then right here. There you go. Good. I think that's... Maybe on the top. I like, I like a little bit of that blue in there. Oh, I mean... Yeah. Uh, what do you think? What do you think, Erica? You guys are killer. I think that's good. Because we're going to bring up the geode yeah. up to the Gee, edge. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably right put some crystals in some of these areas. Sweet. So. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the back. Me, I forgot. It's all right. Nice. Thank you, Eric. Uh, well, no, thank you guys. So how does it hang on a wall? Does it hang like here? Like You can hang it however you want to. You can Maybe rainbow it or you can half moon it. Well, like with this part being the, the bottom side. Get them edges. <laughs> Touch up the little burnouts on the corners. Huh? So for the gold, I can't even remember what colors I used to spray this, but it was made out of Bondo first. Um, I'm gonna be using black Montana in the color.
something since Jeff Arbit on it. I'm not sure if I can see the. Oh, it says it's shake well, but it's gold from Montana. So before I get started, anyone using spray paint or resin should wear a respirator and be in a well ventilated space. These ones are actual quartz, but I'm gonna also include some glass as well for fill-ins. Okay. Thank you very much. So the first color is Color Obsession Snow White. You can use any white. Um, if you decide to use an acrylic or water-based paint to tint your resin, just make sure you adhere to the 10% or less rule. If you're using a paint that's made for resin, then you have a lot more um,
get on with it. So I'm gonna start with my solid white. I'm sure I don't have any dusties on here. Also make sure your surface is level before you do this and make sure wherever it is that you're gonna leave it to set up overnight or however many, whatever hours. Um, it's also really level because even the slightest degree off will mess everything up because it's resin self levels and it's just gonna go to the lowest point. And for geodes, you wanna keep your lines very consistent and where you leave them, you know? Gina, um, I was waiting for somebody to uh, announce that. Announce what? That's what she oh. So, the next thing I do, because resin likes to It'll run off if it is over an eighth inch thick on the surface. So I always try to go through and kind of stretch my lines out just slightly, at least in the beginning, because it'll self level into those areas. And if you move your finger and it pulls some of one color through, that's perfectly fine. Because if you think about it, geodes aren't perfect. They're very random. There's really no wrong. And I think the longer or the harder you try to make it perfect, the more it won't be what you're looking for, in my opinion. I'll probably let it go all the way up to the edge. For this one, I'm going to really take my time pushing it to the edge because I want to keep that rock matte and not resin coated. Y'all are just going to have to hear me out with these white lines I'm going to put in. They're going to settle and look really nice.
nice and organic. If I wait like another 30 minutes to pull this line, it'll be a lot um, easier because this resin would have set up. However, it's okay. Anytime you put resin down, you have to add heat. Next, I'm going to use liquid gold by Montana to add some gold lines. I do not carry this color. We can get it on any bond. It will be in this month's kit. We're going to be doing a geode, not this geode, but a geode. That's similar to this, but on a um, 12 inch grid board. So for me, I like to put some paint out and let it soak up. I'm just dripping this gold on this edge so that it makes sense with the line of gold I'm going to add. Because it separates so fast, I'm going to not do my blend out with those edges right away. I'm just going to go ahead and do all of my drippy work. And then I'll go back. I don't have to stop just to... Now I'm going to do this. I'm just taking all the little ways that it is fluffed and like flowered out. I'm just making it not exactly a rounded look. I don't want it to look like little blooms.
Well, a geode wouldn't be a geode without some glitter glass. So we're going to go ahead and add our last bit of heat. Thanks, Sheila. Have a nice night. Sorry about your reception. I'm going to do the heat before the glitter glass because that may blow some of your glitter glass shards a boot. Again, we're just popping bubbles. I'm not trying to create any kind of movement. Nothing crazy. just pour this on because I don't want it mm. to come out into my everything else. You can put PUG on this paper, ugly. So I'm just going to use my hand and sprinkle it on. This did drop a couple shards so I'm just Thinking them. Ugly was trying to call it my <gasps> Did he step in it? No.
Okay. So what I'm you want to do, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to have this. Man, I don't know if that's going to work with this. I guess, yeah, that'll be fine. We're just going to put this uh, T-square. I got a T-square. Mm -hmm. We got that nice smooth edge right here that's straight. We know it's straight because Paul cut it. Paul from Tool Time Paul. Is it Tool Time Paul or Toolbox Paul? It's Paul's Toolbox. You're going to have to lower toolbox. that camera. That's on your right a little bit. How's that? Yeah, perfect. All right. I got some Gorilla glue too, just in case. Um, and I will use a very heavy duty corrugated box. Rebecca, they don't bite ankles. Our cats do though. That's fun fact. All right, exciting. so I marked those, so I know where those are going. So where did you mark those at? In the drill holes? Yep. And you used a T-square to? To just line it up. Gotcha. And that way, if you if something is, is off like this, you can't put a T-square in, it's hard to make a straight line, you know, that's level. That way, when you put the, the wire through there, you can balance it a lot easier than trying to balance two different hooks. hooks yeah. So I'm going to take some of this E6000 and just put a little dab here. Um, where's the wire? Look at that, you guys. Do you like to see it? <laughs> Is that bad? No, not at all. Um, it's not all in frame, but that's fine. Where would wire be if I was to need a wire of wireness? Is he string? String? <laughs> nope. Thank you. I know it, but you don't need to eat an omelet. I know, they're horrible, but you don't have to tell me. Kucha, <laughs> lead it. That looks Thank so you. good, you guys. You don't even know that guy. Whoever buys this. It's a very, very elegant piece. Thank you. I think I did pretty good on putting those down there. Okay. All right, so we got some wire. Do you need some needle noses? To pinch it and twist it and pop it, lock it, drop it? Um, Let's just take out a little bit too much because I don't know how much we're going to need. What do we want to do? We want to go through here. That would be good. We have two. Put on here. That seem like it's very a lot. Does it seem like it's very a lot? <laughs> like it's like bunched up right here. Let's try to Okay, there we go. Give up that slack. So what I want to do, I'm gonna tear I'm gonna twist this around here. 
Manified says for max strength, the two screws of loop attachment should be in line with the pull of the wire. The beeps. There you go. Look at that. Kimberly. But yeah, that it looks so profesh. It's nice. Do you want me to hold a hook? See if it works? No. Nah. Hold it. This. 